Hi, boys and girls. Today we are going to be making a pop art pie slice inspired by Wayne Thiebaud. So the first thing I'll need is paper and a pencil to sketch out my design. And we're going to be drawing the pie slice so that it looks three-dimensional. So I'm going to start with the top of the pie. So I'm going to kind of draw up here near the, the top of my page. I'm going to start with a diagonal line. I don't want my diagonal line to go too close to the top. At the end of my diagonal line, I'm going to create a curved line. So it looks like my um, pie slice is curved on the end here. And then another diagonal line connecting the tip to the edge of my curve. Now up here on the top of this curve, I'm going to create the crest. So I'm going to draw kind of a bumpy line that goes all the way across the top and then connects. When I draw the side of the slice, that's just going to be a rectangle. So I'm going to draw two vertical lines straight down. I want to make my pie slice nice and thick here, and then a line straight across. Now I'm going to add a few more things here, and I'm going to add the edge of my crest. So I'm going to start um, kind of here, a little closer to the edge here, and draw a second vertical and horizontal line to make my crest look a little bit thick. Now I'll need to kind of erase out here so my crest looks like it's all connected as one piece. And next on the inside of my pie here on the side, I'm going to add some layers. And you can add as many as you'd like. I'm just going to add two lines to create three different layers in there. And then finally, you can add some toppings to your pie. And because we're making pop art, this does not have to be realistic. It can be fun, colorful, silly. So I'm going to start by adding some kind of wavy lines up here to create a shape, kind of like whipped cream, or you can even make it kind of like drippy, like it's coming down the sides. That'll make your pie look a little more 3D. Now, because my drips went over the edge of the pie, I need to erase out all of those spots so that it looks like it's overlapping the edge of my pie. Now I'm going to draw a few more things as my toppings. I'm going to add a cherry up here. And when I add the stem, I want to make sure that I'm drawing shapes, not just lines. And my stem overlapped two shapes, so I'll need to erase those out. So it looks like my stem is on top. And I'm going to add, let's see, I'm going to add some blueberries here too. And I'm making all of these shapes overlap each other. So I have to erase out and make it look like one object is in front and one is behind. I'm going to add some details to the blueberries here. And lastly, I'm going to add um, some texture or details here in my um, sec the sections that I added in my layers here. I'm actually going to make my middle layer here look like it's kind of drippy too. And I, when I come back through here, I'm going to be um, adding some value to make those drips look 3D. So I'm going to erase that out so it looks like it's kind of dripping from that middle section to the bottom section. And then I could add some, some kind of neat patterns or shapes, lines in here so that when I color later, I can add more colors, more, more details just so that my, my sections can all be different. Now, um, next I'm going to add a plate. And because I'm looking at this pie slice from the side, my plate isn't going to be a circle. It's going to be an oval that kind of wraps around. And again, I'm going to practice that overlapping. And I'm just going to lightly sketch in an oval. That's going to be the inside edge of my plate. I'm going to add a second oval for the outside edge of my plate. And yours might go off the page. Mine did a little bit here. That's okay. Last thing I'm going to add is a horizon line. And I'm just going to draw a horizontal line going behind my pie all the way across that will look like the edge of the table or wherever the, the surface that my pie is sitting on meets kind of the wall there. Next, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna add some outlines. Now I'm gonna use two different markers. I'm gonna use a Sharpie pen and I'm gonna use a Sharpie marker. If you don't have Sharpie pens, you could always just use a regular pen, um, but I wanna create thin outlines on a lot of my shapes and then thicker outlines just around the outside. So I'm going to start with my pen and just go through and outline all of my pencil lines.
And because my pen is so thin and small, I might miss some pencil lines, and that's okay. When I'm finished, I'll go back and erase them. And again, if you do not have a Sharpie pen or a thin Sharpie at home, you could definitely use a ballpoint pen. Um, a felt tip pen would work best. If you have something that's, or like a skinny marker, just a Crayola marker. And if you don't have any of that, you could even use just a black colored pencil. So for this first step, I'm outlining all of my shapes and lines, everything I drew in pencil. I'm actually gonna completely erase all of my pencil when I'm done. So I'm even outlining my plate and my horizon line. So now that I'm finished, I want to go through and erase any pencil lines that are still showing because when I color, I don't want to um, trap that pencil on there by coloring over it or smear it. I'm going to make my colors look kind of gray. Now that I've got my artwork all cleaned up, I am going to be ready to start adding my color.